Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you very much for staying with us. Your favorite political analyst is here now, Ezugu Chukudi. How are you doing today? I'm very fine, ladies. Happy New, New week. week. How was your weekend? It was it was bumper to bumper. You know, Nedu <laughs> turned a um, year older. Yes. yes Happy <laughs> birthday, Nedu. We love you and we celebrate you. And we hope you had a fabulous year yesterday. I huh? tried to rest. Did I just say fabulous year yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Monday morning background is okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what was the plan? What was the turn up? Well, I tr it was it was private. That's that. But you private. did a surprise party for him. No, <laughs> even me, I'm surprised that my <laughs> I'm surprised that my own condition. <laughs> Talk more. You know, there's a difference between there's a thin line between surprise and shock. And after me, I'm in a state of shock. So anything that will surprise me might cause serious high blood pressure. <laughs> but it was a great experience. We you know we just spent some quality time together with friends. And you know me now. Anywhere there's food, uh, let's consume it rather than let's consume it rather than rather than for it to waste. Was it small chops no. enough? Uh, there was no even small chops. In fact, people were shocked. That's what when, uh, um, Fino when, said when he sang, "Come on, God, don't eat it. Yeah, don't that for no. that is instead of the food remaining in the pot, let it remain in our tummy." A that lot of people lot were of shocked sense. when I ordered the uh, swallow. Uh, you around, don't understand how tall you are. Around something like around something like eight o'clock in the evening. In the late evening, I ordered swallow and a big bowl of egusi soup. See, me, I'm eating Eba at 7 in the morning, so I can't talk. But not today. Not today. Okay, no, like no, that's four okay. years ago. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. No, but it's not like it's a regular. No, no, Like no. with Chukudi, one of the advantages I think Chukudi's wife is going to experience is the fact that Chukudi doesn't select anything. Give him anything. Anything, so you eat. He will eat it. Honestly. The food, right, before the food will get to his leg. You know, he will be hungry again. Trash for long, trash for long. <laughs> oh, okay, goodness. let's go straight to the news and find out what's trending. We have very interesting information. Akpabio, Akpabio meets Buhari in London. Senator Godswill Akpabio, a former governor of Akwaibom State, is set to dump the People's Democratic Party and dampen the celebration mood in the PDP headquarters over the defection of some senators and the three governors from the All Progressives Congress. Now, a reverse switch is about to happen with one of the main pillars of the PDP in the South-South crossing to AP. It was announced that he has, um, via Twitter, this was announced via Twitter, and the ABC United Kingdom said in a tweet, acting president at Prof. Oshibanjo, accompanied by Senator Dr. Ita Enanga, leaders of the APC and Akwaibom, to formally receive Senator Dr. Godswill Akpabio into APC at Ikotek Menet Stadium on Thursday, the 9th of August 2018. All lovers of democracy are cordially invited. There's really a party going on with What's our political What's the score parties. now? There's one on the APC side. How many on the PDP side? We are, not, we are not really sure. I think we've lost <laughs> count right now. We are not really sure because <laughs> some of them, too, tomorrow, they might just uh, decide that they have had enough. You see, the truth is... Yeah. Politicians will always be politicians. I always quote Nikita Khrushchev. That is people who promise to build a bridge even when there's no water. We have had this, you know, talk about, oh, when you move, when you switch political parties, since you win the election on the platform of the political party, you're going to lose your position, you know, declare the seat vacant and the rest of them. What Nigerians need to understand is what I have always emphasized, that there are only two classes of Nigerians. The suffering masses which constitutes a bulk of Nigeria's citizenry, and the members of the political class who are just concerned about perpetuating themselves in power. These people will do anything to retain power. Now, let's not even delve into the matter, because certain people have said, oh, you know, the EFCC for a while has been investigating, you know, Senator Goswil Apabio, that it, it appears like, allegedly, oh, allegedly, that, you know, when you know that this will happen, you have to, so that, because, you know, people have argued that when you stop holding the umbrella and you begin to hold the broom, you automatically become a saint and all your sins will be washed away. Or if you begin to hold the, if you leave the broom and begin to hold the umbrella, they will begin to witch hunt you. Now, let's not forget the governor of Benue State. You know, he had been governor under the APC for like three years. Nobody heard anything. Then all of a sudden, after making the switch, it was reported, allegedly, oh, that the EFCC had instituted a case of 20 billion naira plus about money laundering on the matter. What Nigerians need to understand is politicians are like nomads. They will go anywhere their bread will be buttered. They are only in search of lush green uh, pasture. What we must do as Nigerians who have this understanding that whether it is APC or PDP or this party or that party, bad leadership is bad leadership. Bad governance is bad governance. Maladministration, we are going to be at the receiving end. We cannot switch uh, countries 
I cannot wake up today, although there's a process, but I cannot wake up today and say, oh, because this man has defected to APC or PDP, I am now Ghanaian, I am now Cameroonian. It doesn't work like that. If there is no power in your house, there is no power in my house. Why are we then fighting over people who will switch political parties, or even some that are wearing PDP singlet and boxers and APC, APC and Bada? Nigerians need to understand that for these people, it is essentially a game of personal interest. They are self-serving people, not all of them. I have friends that are politicians, but a majority. That is why we have had 19 years of uninterrupted um, uh, democratic rule, yet there is no stable power, there is insecurity, our roads are bad, the schools are in a state, the health sector is comatose, that even in the Asovila Clinic, they don't even have syringe. Let me even tell you something I read ah. over the weekend. Apparently, the World Bank has now said that Rwanda, in seven years, has managed to actually channel 88% of their schools in the country with full-time electricity. Seven years. Rwanda, that is not even up to a tenth of the size of Nigeria. Seven years later, and 88% of the schools in the country have See, full electricity. Rwanda is not your mate. <laughs> Mate is not by size. Every time yeah. we come and say, we are giant of Africa. Yeah. Chukudi, say that word again. Say that Rwanda thing again. is yeah. not no, your not mate. Mate, mate, is, that. Not no. mate size. is not by size. Not by size. Oh, we are giant of Africa. 200 million plus people. It is human capital we development. We keep fighting Ghana over their jollof. Let's at least make effort to have constant light, like Ghana has. You know, they have they have uninterrupted light for, for the longest time. Yesterday, I spoke to people who claimed that they were students in Ghana, Nigerians, that studied in Ghana. Do you know how many parents walk, walk their socks off so that they can pay school fees for, for their children to study in Ghana? Mm -hmm. In institutions, no disrespect, mm -hmm. that are like three-bedroom flats compared to our, pre our premier institutions yeah. in Nigeria that have produced people of repute. It is as a result of bad leadership. Absolutely. People who do not care about the interests of the Nigerian people, the only thing these people benefit from government is a lifestyle like King Nebuchadnezzar. And what is expected of them is to work hard to see that the people get the dividends of democracy, but they even fail in that simple responsibility. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.